you get off the phone, you're excited. First thing you gotta do, send that thank you email right away. Now, if you're not going to um, meet them within 24 hours, make sure you write a handwritten letter saying, hey, thank you again, or just bring it with you. Then, make sure you confirm, I am meeting you, the owner, at such and such property, correct? Yes, you are day and time, lock that in your schedule. Make sure you send a calendar invite on their end as well. Put it into property base right away. This is a good lead. You did all that research, you did all that work. Now on the back end, you have more work to do. I see a lot of agents skip this step, laziness. And if you skip it at the beginning of your career, you're gonna skip it in the middle of your career, you're gonna skip it at the end of your career when you don't have a career because you skip this step. Don't be lazy. Don't be normal. Don't be average. Be great. The choice is yours. I'm just here to help. With that being said, you being great, make sure you follow up again. Yes, we already followed up, we're gonna follow up again. Within 24 hours, give them a call, meet you tomorrow at this time. Great, I'll see you soon. And please show up early. The only reason why you will be late, because you're prepared to show up on time. Show up 15 minutes before, pull up in that driveway. You can wait, take your time, let them know <laughs> that you're on time. Do a walk around outside, start writing down everything that you see. When you meet the owner and you walk inside, the first thing you ask for is for a tour. As you walk around and you're looking around, make sure you take notes. Oh, that need fixing. Oh, this is a water stain that been here. How long that water stain been here? Oh, 10 years? Yeah, this, need to paint this. Okay. The furnace, how, when was the last time we'll service? We need to service that. Gas, oil. Okay. okay. When's the last time everything has been updated? Okay. Okay. And that's all you're doing, right? So when you actually sit down, you can go over all the things that you need to upgrade and you want to kind of, hey, I think we should repair this before inspection, before any buyer sees this. If they see a water stain, they're going to go crazy. If you want a buyer not to purchase your home, drop, just pour some water on the floor. I guarantee you, game over. Stay out of there. Trust me. At the same time, you may have to recalculate uh, the number that you chose for the particular home. Now seeing the home, you know, the owner told you over the phone, everything's renovated and uh, you get there, it's not. 